kids just, you know, every day came out with the same attitude, you know, no matter what the circumstances was, you know. Um, he was a wrestler beforehand, you know, for like the past thing, four years, he was on the wrestling team heavyweight. And, you know, just the kid was a grinder, you know, every day, you know, staying after practice, you know, he probably knew he wasn't going to go out and start, but, you know, every day he just wanted to get better, you know, staying after practice with the coach, just trying to, you know, maybe give a better look on the scout team or just, you know, and he was just so passionate about, you know, what he did for, you know, this team, for, you know, for this university and it's just amazing. I mean, football is important to you guys, but it is obviously compared to something like that, trivial. How do you as a team it's just, you know, we gotta, you know, we get closer. You know, we gotta lean on each other in hard times like this, you know. Really come together and, you know, win this one for him. Taylor, Taylor said he felt like this was the closest team he's ever been on in anything. Definitely. Do you get that and what give you that sense? It's just, you know, just in the locker room, you can feel it. You know, in each unit, you can feel it. And on the practice field, you can feel it. You know, just guys, coming together and you know he was a huge part of that because you know like just what he put into everything is just kind of like the model of what we want you know of effort and toughness and being passionate and loyal and that's that's who he was and that's kind of what you know everyone tries to be that's like the model you know just, yeah do you ever complain to you in the last several weeks or last couple of months about about concussions, about having problems like that at all? No one seems to have a record of him saying anything about anything like that. No. Uh, nope. I don't know. Mm -hmm. they say that they say that whether this whether concussions are involved in this or not is immaterial. But there's serv there's uh, testing that's been done that say that linemen perhaps are more susceptible to having concussions and having lingering problems after their playing career. I'm just wondering, is is that ever, do you ever think about this? Do you ever cross your mind that this thing that you like to do can possibly debilitate you later in life? Definitely, yeah, but, um, you know, and coaches always say, you know, take care of your body. And, you know, we have different ways of, you know, taking care of your body. And, you know, you got to make sure you stay up on all of that. You know, if you have any signs or symptoms, you know, we have our medical staff is you know the best in the country so uh real in contact with them and just you know trying to manage you know all the blows and stuff you take anything to your body you know try and keep it healthy you know but yeah definitely but i love what i do right now and you know it's a great opportunity and I'm taking full advantage of it pat in your wrestling background did you ever come across closer did you ever wrestle them did, did you all uh i remember time? i think i was a freshman and uh, I was at the district tournament. And I think I had already. I think I was just watching because I didn't make the district tournament. I remember he was uh, he was wrestling like the district finals match, and I was like, it's like, wow, I don't want to wrestle that guy. <laughs> he's you know big and just a great wrestler, great athlete. And I remember watching him there, and just I followed him here too because you know I'm a wrestling fan, and yeah, I kind of know his background a little bit. Why do you think he showed up for football? What was it about? Taylor said, you know, the, the guy loved to <laughs> loved to compete and loved oh, to collide. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. just, what, 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 what do you think turned him on to football this last year? Just, you know, just the nature of the game, you know. Uh, wrestling's a tough sport. And I'm, I'm sure he maybe wanted to, you know, experience the football team a little bit just because he has the tools to do that. And probably just, you know, we needed linemen. Mm -hmm. Saw an opportunity and just that was his, you know, attitude. And, his mentality is to see an opportunity, go take it, and he was taking full advantage of it too while he was here. Taylor said he looked like he was in good spirits on Tuesday. He even saw him Tuesday night and said he was uh, upbeat and great. Do you remember him on Tuesday? What do you remember most about him on Tuesday? Just fine, yeah. just yeah. normal Costa. Huh. You know? What was it like to practice against? Like, I mean, I'm sure you had to go against him uh, with him on the scout team. Was he, was he difficult to play? Against? Yeah, definitely. He was a good player. You know, he's. Big, strong, you know, had leverage from the wrestling background. He knew how to, you know, control his body and control other people. And he was, you know, gave a great look, you know, getting me ready to go against guys from different teams, you know. 
Where was he usually? Did he, did he play in the nose? Uh, three yeah, he was maybe? playing a nose guard. Nose guard. Nose guard. Pat, in five days, you guys got to go play um, football game. Do you think that you guys will even want to play that game in five days from now? Definitely, yeah. They were playing for a Big Ten championship. So definitely want to go play that one. A couple more questions. You guys have waited a year to get back to the Big Ten championship. That losing that game hurt you guys so much last year. Now you're back and you've got to deal with real life stuff. The team can kind of go one of two ways with that. How confident are you that you guys will use this as to spur you forward as opposed to you down? Oh, yeah, it kind of kind of hits you and you kind of just you know makes you take a step back and look that there's you know life outside of this place and outside of football and that there's you know a lot of stuff going on but you know it just makes me think of Costa and, and what he would want and I already told you what kind of guy he wanted you know he was and thinking about that like he wouldn't want us to you know go downhill from this like Costa wants us to win that game you know and beat them and win a ring and get close to a ring. He deserves it, you know, because he's he's put in the work to, you know, to deserve that. You know, I'm just kind of think of, you know, what would Costa want, and exactly he wants a championship. So we're gonna get a lot, from a, a lot from about a, this has been surprising, Pat. Uh, the, the fact that he had a gun did that shake you a little bit? Yeah, I didn't. Like I said, I just I've known him since August and and got to know him around here a little bit. And actually, a lot around here, because I mean, I'm going against him every day, talking to him, and you know, he's a lineman, and like myself, and yeah, I mean, it was it shocked the whole situation. Is just I'm still trying to grasp it.